I thought for sure I backed pretty quickly, but I'm on like the latter end of every single shipment. Hey internet, I'm Steve and welcome to Raffo. We've got another unboxing of the year of Sanderson today, this time Secret Project 2. Let's open it up. Ouch, I'm getting old. We've got to set up the space first. What's that? Hi. Here it is. Frugal Wizard, Secret Project 2. I really should just keep a sharp object very close by for this exact reason. Dragon steel. Lovely. I'm really excited for the print version of this. Reading the ebook was really fun, especially if you read the PDF version, so you get all of the doodles by Steve Argyle like in context. So I'm real excited to see what the print version looks like. All right. Oh! First off, oh man, that's amazing. Cosmic character pin of Vasher holding Nightblood. That is so cool. And a lovely little sticker of Mervyn the Wizard, the thing, magic, wizards, hidden fees. Oh, the footnotes on this, this is fantastic. Grab your robes, get a beard, preferably your own. Done, got it, taken care of. Make sure to bring credit cards, we don't care whose. Prepare a, for a reality warping romp through a medieval England you might almost recognize, illuminated with over a hundred illustrations by the magical Steve Argyle, actual wizard. We also get a frugal wizard sparkly bookmark. All that glitters is not gold. There's footnotes in the footnotes. This is fantastic. Meet Mervyn the wizard. No, he's not for sale. Yet. And Cosmic Character Pin. Fresh from a prison break, this pin is ready to slay some evil with its breathtaking cuteness. Vasher and Nightblood. Friends forever. That's the most fun of the explanatory postcards that they've done. And then the book itself. That's a good looking cover. I admit. You know a book is going to have a lot of illustrations when just looking at the pages from the side, it's got all of these black marks from all the pictures. This is a beautiful blue. The cover in person is a lot more appealing to me than the cover on the PDF. It's good. Oh, it got a little crunch on the bottom. Oh, all of the art by Steve Argyle. <laughs> if you haven't watched my Frugal Wizard review, I get into like a lot of the art and stuff in that. Like this Cecil G. Bagsworth III is actually a portrait of Brandon's brother. Yeah, this is great. So many illustrations by Steve. All of these, all of the little side doodles are so good. Steve Argyle is now a patron on my Patreon, which is very nice of him. The Shakespeare company that I'm with has been frequently rehearsing in his backyard. There's relationships there, it works out. And so I've just had an opportunity to chat with Steve quite a bit. And so he told me all of the shading and things that he's been doing has been a lot more intricate than he's done in the past. It's not like normal cross hatching. So looking here, you've got like a lot of swirly things in the shading and it's just, they're really fun to look at. See all the, all the little swirl, it's like almost a fingerprint. Reasonably certain that this is actually modeled by Steve and Kat. Yeah, the, the doodles around the edge of the page just tell their own separate story, but in vibe are exactly on point with what's happening in the actual, the main story. It's interesting, with what we know of Secret Project 3, the rock stacking here at the beginning of the chapters, it, yeah, that's all, that's all I'll say about that. Oh, Mervyn, you're adorable. Someone pointed out that this person has basically Chandra goggles. The French, I believe, copy of Frugal Wizard used this image as their, like, cover image. Which is a little spoilery, I suppose, for the ending of the book, but also, it's such a good picture. So many, so many drawings. I love it. Interesting tidbit, this, where John and Cephalin are teaching people how to write, actually does say something. This, translated from runes, says, John and Ceph forever, which is just real cute. They're having this romantical moment while teaching people how to be literate. Yay! This is fun. Ah. Once again, excellent work, Dragonsteel. Absolutely fantastic job, Steve. Thank you, Steve, for there. Thank you, Steve, for being a patron and supporting me. It, I really appreciate it. It's very nice. This is such a beautiful book. Absolutely worthy of being next to Tress of the Emerald Sea. Th these are definitely designed to be a set. Those look beautiful side by side. 
Excellent job, Steve, for the amazing work you did on this book. All of the illustrations are absolutely delightful. The design of the book itself is just really, really fun. I love it. It's great. At this point, I assume basically everyone else has gotten their copy of Frugal Wizard, but we do have another Secret Project book coming very, very soon. In just a couple weeks, Secret Project 3 is going to be released, which I'm really excited for. I'm going to have an Everything We Know About Secret Project 3 video coming out probably in the next few days, so please subscribe to make sure that you are notified for when those come out. I'm posting videos basically every single week, so it's totally worth it to subscribe and hit that little bell. If you would like to watch my Everything We Know About Secret Project 3 video right now, that is available for my patrons. So, if you want to join the ranks of Steve, who did this book, also Doug, and Matt, and everybody else, support me on Patreon, where you will get early access to all of my videos, as well as you can get access to my previous scripts and research notes, and future projects I'm working on. I got some good stuff coming up, guys. I'm really excited to get this book finally in hardcover. My wife is a strictly paper reading person, so she can finally read and find out. There's a plane going by. Not sure if you can see it. You definitely can't see it. Not sure if you can hear it.